Let's shift back to first alert weather. Albert's with us again, and I was just saying to Erica, tomorrow night at this time, we know what our lead story is going to be, mm. right? It sounds like Helene bearing down, and it's a powerful storm. Hey, what's amazing to me, it's a Category 1 right now, and that's bad enough as it is, but this time tomorrow night, it'll be a Category 4 uh, moving inland, so it's going to take some big-time jumps, and I think that starts tonight. The latest satellite picture showing just in the last half hour, the eye wall beginning to fill in. That's the most intense part of the thunderstorms right along the eye. I'll show that to you in just a second. All right, let's talk about back here at home. Tomorrow, a lot like today, beautiful, lots of sunshine, low humidity, light winds, a little cool in the morning with temperatures in the 50s, mid 70s, though, in the afternoon. And then we will feel some impacts from Helene. It first comes in on Friday, but not when it comes to rainfall. Gusty winds rotating around the remnants or the leftovers of Helene, and the winds will accelerate Friday afternoon, Friday evening, beyond 40 miles per hour at some times. And then a little bit of moisture as we head towards the weekend. I want you to keep your weekend plans because there'll be plenty of dry air also wrapping on in. So any kind of rain we do see will be on the light side. So it's a cat one right now. It's still about 465 miles to the south of Apalachicola. It's Apalachicola there, Tallahassee there. And this part of Florida is going to get walloped by not just wind and heavy rainfall, but as we mentioned at the top of the newscast, potential for storm surge, inundation of salt water up to 20 feet. That is catastrophic storm surge in the forecast. So we think it's going to make landfall 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. 130 mile per hour winds will go through this rapid intensification as it approaches land tomorrow afternoon into the evening time and then upper level winds kind of get it hung up right here mid Mississippi River Valley portions of the Ohio River Valley that's going to put most of the moisture south of us so we're putting the rain chance here at home as of now at 40% Saturday and Sunday that may be a little generous Laura and Ed may have to trim that down just a bit because we're going to get some good dry air moving on in so we're not really all that impressed with rainfall amounts nor rainfall chances this upcoming weekend we'll keep an eye on that for you tomorrow a dry day, mostly sunny 77, and then it's a windy day, but still dry Friday. The high temperature at 75. We're going to have wind gusts approaching 30 miles per hour by noon on Friday. And for Friday night football, we could have wind gusts topping 40 miles per hour at times coming in off the lake. Big time waves coming on in too. So dangerous lake conditions out over Lake Michigan. That's going to be Friday and Saturday. So our forecast showing those rain chances this weekend at 40%, a lingering shower at 30% on Monday. A little bit cooler with a front, upper 60s, low 70s, middle part of next week. Thanks, Albert.